Oh, I wasn't even recording. I don't know when it stopped. Oh, let me rewind and see. Okay, so apparently none of what I said got recorded. So, I'm going to have to redo it again. Alright, so bear with me. I forgot what I said. But, today it is a golfer's toolbox. And this thing, it looks really cool. And it may be really cool. It comes with, this is the cap you can screw on your camera. Which, I like it. It comes with two giant sticks that are the size of this stick. So, whatever this stick is, these white sticks that come inside of it, sorry, are the same length. And it said you had to hold this end when you swing. So this end when you swing. And I guess you can swing with it as like a um, tool. But inside your stick, you have holes in your stick. So, you have four holes, and I'm gonna stick these sticks back in this stick, okay? I don't know which way they go, though. I'm gonna stick the little, there's, there's little holes and big holes. I'm gonna stick the little sticks in this little hole. And they go like this, and there's specific holes for each hole. And this stick goes down in your other stick. Come on. There we go! Okay, they go just like this. Perfect. Now, screw this part on. Alright, perfect. So, I'm going to show you how tall it is, so give me one second. That's how tall it is. It comes up to my rib cage. And there's lots of interesting things you can do with it. Oh! There's a giant spider! <gasps> what should I do? Look at him. You see him? He's right there. You see him? <gasps> I'm gonna throw him now. All right, I think we're good. I hate spiders. So in this book, it shows you everything you can do with your stick. You can custom logo it, but I don't really care to do that. I just wanted it for all the sticks inside the stick. I could carry my sticks around. It shows, oh, it does, it comes with this string. I didn't know what this string was for, but it says it right here in the assembly. There's an assembly for it. I have to read on why you need this. How are you supposed to carry this though? That's the question. What are these little holes for? Oh, you're supposed to use it with your phone. Look, you hook up your phone and you can see the birds and turtles and alligators without getting eaten. All right, use it as a fitness. He's showing lots of poses. I'm not gonna show you because you gotta buy your own unless you watch me on my videos, but I'm gonna keep looking through this and I'll get back with you, okay? So stay tuned until I figure out something important. So they have an app, it's called Golfer's Toolbox. Build your own game. You gotta build your own game. Uh, oh, and here's a cool one, it's their competitors. Okay. So I'm not really gonna make this a vlog, probably. I think I'm gonna make this one a specific, like for its own product review. Because I could do so much with this stuff. Where's my attacher? How do you attach it? Putting. So I'm gonna do a few of these today and I'm gonna show you how they do it from the book. Starters. We're gonna stretch. Ready? Out of the way. Oh, that feels so good. Oh. Okay. Alright, I'll be back in a different location. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna note is I already lost the string that was on there in that picture. I don't know where I put the strings gone, so if there's one to do with the string. I can't do it. Okay, first off, I'm gonna try what looked to be the most dangerous of the tricks, or not the tricks, the, uh, the setup. It's where it's got the string pointing out and going up. So I'm gonna set that up, try it, and I'll show you once I set it up. Okay, I set it up. Uh, that's what it looks like. The reason I caught it the most dangerous is it's got those pointy sticks in the air. And for somebody who's not a very good golfer, that might poke them in the arm. So I'm gonna hit a few and try it and see how it how it works. I'm gonna look at the picture before I try it. Well, that wasn't so dangerous. Oh, that went down. 
dangerous at all. Let's try a little closer. Probably dangerous either. Okay, test done. All right, so the next cool thing I liked about it was you could stick a shaft, or I mean, sorry, a rod up the center of your stick so that you can keep it in the same spot. Now, I'll show you. I'm gonna move the camera, but I'll show you in a second. Like this. So you can do your feet, shoulder width apart, balls in the center of your stance. Like that. See, okay, where did I hit my divot? Move it down a little bit, slap another ball in there. All right, so I thought I'd try the magical floating rod trick. It looked cool. I might be supposed to stick it the other way, but I'm gonna do it this way just for now. So after doing that putting test, you know, it's a good product, but the problem with setting that up is you have to find a flat putt. I mean, if you're just working on just hitting it solid, that's great, but if you're using it to line up with a hole, just like I did, um, I wouldn't recommend it because sometimes greens are not always straight. Um, but use it if you're working on your distance taken back, taken through, because it's got all those inches on it, and that's great. Um, so overall, looking at the product, I really like it, and I'll probably carry it around quite a bit, um, just because I give golf lessons, and it's hard for me carrying around my sticks. I have those other sticks. Let me show you. One second. So here's the sticks I've been carrying around. Yellow, pink, and orange, and I spray painted the pink, of course, because that's my favorite color. But... I could, no, I don't think it'll fit. The, the white sticks are a little bit thinner than these. But, um, this thing, it might weigh a lot more, but it looks more professional. You know, you look like you know what you're doing when you're carrying this thing around. It's none of my sticks, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but if you're looking to get one, I'm debating on if I'd recommend it or not, just because it's so heavy. I wouldn't carry this around in your bag unless you're riding in a cart because it weighs, it's hefty. Like, here's the weight. Like, this thing would be on the ground. These are like, but now the sticks inside are really thin. It's just, the thing is used for stretching. And I'll do a few stretches right now. How about that? questions about the product you're welcome to contact me I just got it today I know it's been out on the market for a long time but I'll be looking at it reviewing it a little bit more for more details I might even put in some information in the comments I don't know check my website out sarahalman.com this was not a paid advertising issued thing you can thank my dad for buying the product it's 60 bucks and I was not paid to do this by the way I just thought it looked neat, you know, looking at different things on Amazon. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If not, that's okay. I don't really care, I just put it out there for me. Just kidding. All right, watch my videos on my vlog. This is going up on my other channel. I don't put many videos on my other channel, but you better watch my vlogs. Right I forgot to add on the Sarah scale, one out of 10. I really like this product, so I'm gonna give it a 10 because I like number 10. So this is, gets a 10 out of 1 out of 10. Alright, so this is what it looks like in your golf bag. <clears throat> and mine is a stand bag, kickstand bag, whatever you want to call it. And it's the same length as my driver, all the way down in the bag. Well, it's a little bit longer. A little bit longer. 
but not too bad. The only problem is, watching those videos, they show that you can set it up inside your golf bag. I didn't really watch a video, I just looked at the paper, but you would need your golf bag like this to be able to video. Shake, shake. That's gonna rattle. Oh boy. That's okay. But when you're having your bag out in the stand like that, you'll need some kind of an extender. I'm sure I have one, but to get it level. So if you have a bag like mine that has a kickstand, make sure that you get an extender piece. And maybe I'll add that to this video and show you what it looks like. Hello, back for round two. I'm gonna be keeping on reviewing the golfer's toolbox. I called it a stick yesterday, but that was just for fun. Um, today, I'm gonna be showing you just a couple other things that I like about it. I like about the product and its continuation of, you know, the whole review. I like the part about it being similar to a speed stick, okay? So you can swing it, and I'll just swing a few and quit talking. sounds very similar due to these holes inside of it and I'm leaving the rods in there. I didn't take them out. So yeah. It'll get you loose. It'll be like swinging a couple extra clubs and you can stretch with it. I already did a few stretches but I'm going to stretch it. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple other tricks. I mean, sorry, things you can do with it. So if you enjoyed my review of the golfer's toolbox, please like this video. If I get two likes, I will make another video on a different golf product that I find or I have and continue to make it interesting. Um, some of the stuff I've said in this video is just to point out what I think. It's a personal review. I was not paid to do this. I just thought it would be interesting. But um, feel free to check them out. It's a great product. All right, thanks for watching. Watch my vlogs. Sarah vlogs, Sarah Almond golf vlogs. All right, I'm shutting up now, bye. Am I recording? Am I recording? Okay, so this is my new intro. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm gonna be reviewing this product. I play golf. I started giving golf lessons recently, so yeah. Hope you like my product review and hope you get close enough to my face so you can hear me. All right.